So, Scoop It is just a neat little tool. Um, I like it. I use it a lot. And in fact, you know, you'll see me share stuff, not just on Scoop It, but again, I can automatically share it to like Facebook or to my blog or stuff like that. So, uh, a lot of our posts and stuff, or my posts anyway, come from Scoop It. Like I say, the thing I like about it is I find something neat. And by the way, you can find neat stuff from other people who scoop similar things. And you can do what's called a rescoop. Uh, let me see if I can find an example of that. Let's go to the PowerPoint for video topic. And uh, let's try this. Let's just search for PowerPoint. So you can kind of look through content that's might be interesting and if I find something that I like see it's got a little uh, recycle symbol here and I can re-scoop it so it's even easier than finding stuff on the web a lot of times you know sometimes you gotta wade through a bunch of stuff or I'll usually vet it first and make sure I like it and then I go oh I'll re-scoop that for sure oh, that kind of thing so scoop it is cool um, but here's kind of a, I don't know how new it is or if I just missed it or what, but everybody's got a Gmail account, I'm going to guess. If you have a YouTube channel, you have yourself a Gmail account or a Google Plus account more accurately. So I'm going to go to Google Plus. And what they have now, and again, I don't know if this is really new or I just didn't see it before. I've created things like communities and things like that on Google Plus because it's good for SEO and you know building a community. <laughs> but if you hit the home tab here now, there's this thing called collections. So I'll go there and you can create yourself some collections. So here, you know, I've got one for cool PowerPoint stuff, and you can customize this and everything but it does a lot of the same kinds of things it lets you kinda add stuff to your collection so I haven't researched to see if there's like a this little bar plug-in or anything that you can use but essentially so let's say I like this particular PowerPoint tutorial which I actually really do uh, let me get just to the tutorial without the list so I like this thing and actually, uh, I'm going to walk through this and show you how to do this because it's something I've been meaning to do. Uh, I can just kind of copy the link. And I could embed it as a video. So you just enter the URL of, on YouTube. Hit the search button and OK. That's good. So I'll add that. And again, you can put in your own notes or commentary or whatever and you can share this stuff with people. Uh, I'll just copy this link address and see if that works for you guys. If it does let me know. Should I imagine? And I just started using this but it's kind of a way to kind of collect stuff that you might want to look at or investigate. I use it to collect stuff that I want to oh, emulate <laughs> as in totally rip off. So here's a little lower third project I'm working on for my Vidojo folks and uh, we're building this little asset so it's kind of where I keep it and where I find it so that's all fun and everything <laughs> <laughs>